at this cup. What goes down must come up. The stars and stripes want the America's Cup. Day four, the morning of the critical race. Thousands of loyal Australians cram the harbor to see the gladiators sail out. What an exciting day. Stars and Stripes is towed behind the Betsy. Dennis Connor looks around, appreciates the fans' interest. Of course, most people are cheering for Kookaburra, but Stars and Stripes gets a good send off. Peter Gilmore, Ian Murray, wave to the crowd. 100,000 people line the shores. Murray has to feel inspired. Wow, that's a lot of energy. Look at this scene. It's never been like this in the sport of sailing. Stars and Stripes has a three to zero advantage. Could Kookaburra win a race and prolong the series? Or is Dennis Connor gonna get the albatross off his neck and rewrite history. The boats are in a starting maneuver. Stars and Stripes has to be careful. They're to leeward. The final countdown. We're listening to Peter Eisler, the navigator. Peter Gilmore at the helm of Kookaburra seems to fall off too much. Sailing away from the line, advantage stars and stripes. Tactician Tom Whidden loves it. Kookaburra tacks away. 24 miles and eight legs ahead. Can stars and stripes hold on to their lead? Kookaburra tacks. Stars and stripes on port has to be careful. She crosses by a length. Advantage Stars and Stripes. How about this? Stars and Stripes doesn't cover. Kookaburra keeps sailing on starboard. And a sail change aboard the Australian boat. The wind builds. They need a heavier sail. Don McCracken on the bow. Make sure everything runs smoothly. Beautiful change. They hardly lose any distance. Stars and Stripes on starboard with the right away. And a three boat length advantage. The American boat is sailing fast. The breeze builds with Rottnest Island in the distance. Calm aboard Stars and Stripes. They tack over to cover. Kookaburra on the right follows suit and tacks away. They're hoping attacking duel would work. Only one race to go, if Stars and Stripes can hold on to this lead. Kookaburra seems to catch up a little bit. The wind's going light. Possible advantage to Australians? It seems as we get closer to the island, the wind is a little lighter. Stars and Stripes covers. Tactician Tom Whidden makes the right call. Down below aboard Kookaburra, the spinnaker is ready for the downwind run. At the windward mark, Stars and Stripes leads, but Kookaburra has caught up. Maybe this race, she can pass the American boat. Nice spinnaker set aboard Stars and Stripes. Now it's Kookaburra's turn. At the finish line, Stars and Stripes crosses ahead. Dennis Connor has won the America's Cup against the Australians in their home waters. A dramatic turnaround after losing the cup in 1983. A huge victory. Dennis Connor is happy. He's won four races to zero. This is one of the biggest turnarounds in sports. Dennis Connor has made his comeback. The Australian fans are happy for Connor. They appreciate good sailing, good sportsmanship. Connor and crew have done that. The Cup is heading back to the United States, but not Newport, Rhode Island. San Diego, California, Dennis Connors' hometown. 
The crews cheer each other. Everyone's having a good time. Here comes the bubbly. And the supporters aboard Stars and Stripes with the flag flying proudly. The America's Cup is about to change hands once again. At the prize giving, Dennis Connor and the crew are proud. The cup is handed over by Commodore Fred Fry of the San Diego Yacht Club. Congratulations, he says. The cup is on its way home. As you might remember, I got a phone call from you back in 1983, and Tom answered the phone, I think, and he said, the president's on the phone. He wants to tell you that you fouled up. <laughs> That's the printed version anyway. <laughs> well, you might remember that um, I made you a, a personal promise at that time to do everything I could to bring the cup back home to America where it belongs. So here it is. A big victory like this, a ticker tape parade down Fifth Avenue. Thanks to Mayor Edward Koch and Donald Trump. There's the America's Cup. Summer in Australia, winter in New York City. The Stars and Stripes crew loves the attention.